T-minus one minute and counting. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The SRB joint heaters are being de deactivated at this time and power being removed from ground support equipment. T-minus 40 seconds. Transferring to orbiter internal power. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. Go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T-minus 20 seconds. T-minus 16 seconds, sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We have a go for main engine start. T-minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens and opening new gateways for international science. Discovery has cleared the tower. Houston now controlling. Roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a head down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Discovery seven miles downrange at an altitude of two statute miles. Flying at 600 miles per hour. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Now 50 seconds into the flight. Discovery eight miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of six statute miles, flying at 900 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. The three engines on board are throttling back up. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Discovery now 13 miles downrange at an altitude of 13 statute miles, flying at 1,700 miles per hour. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. Discovery now 24 miles downrange at an altitude 23 statute miles, flying at 2,700 miles per hour. One minute 58 seconds into the flight, standing by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space Booster officer here in Mission Control confirming the booster separation. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. The propulsion officer here confirms that the orbital maneuvering system engines are firing, providing Discovery with an extra boost to orbit. Discovery now 58 miles downrange at an altitude of 40 statute miles flying at 3,300 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, two-engine Maroon. Copy, two-engine Maroon. Discovery can reach Maroon in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines are still operating well. Three minutes, five seconds into the flight, Discovery at an altitude of 47 statute miles, 85 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center flying at 3,800 miles per hour. All continuing to go smoothly on Discovery's climb to orbit on track for its link up with the International Space Station Thursday morning. Three minutes and 40 seconds into the flight, Discovery now 124 miles downrange at an altitude of 57 statute miles, flying at 4,600 miles per hour.
Discovery Houston, negative return. Copy, negative return. Discovery is now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center and the shuttle landing facility in the event of an engine failure. However, all three main engines still continuing to function well. Discovery at an altitude of 62 statute miles, flying 172 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at 5,400 miles per hour. The orbital maneuvering system engines are continuing to function well with about four minutes left and that extra boost for Discovery's climb to orbit. Now four minutes and 45 seconds into the flight, the environmental systems officer confirms that the flash evaporator system has been activated to provide cooling before the payload bay doors are opened in orbit. From 5 minutes 22 seconds in the flight, Discovery now 281 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, press to ATO, select Istris. Copy, press to ATO and we'll select Istris. Discovery can now reach a lower than planned. Houston, single engine ops 3. Copy, single engine ops 3. Discovery could now reach a lower than planned but a safe orbit on two engines should one fail, but all three continuing to perform well. The vehicle could also conduct a transatlantic abort landing on one engine should two fail at this point. Six minutes and ten seconds into the flight, Discovery's engines have been commanded to swivel. Single engine Istris 104. Your shutdown plan is nominal. Your go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Copy all. Discovery Houston, press to Miko. Press to Miko. Discovery is now in a head zip position and can reach the planned orbit on two engines. All three engines continue to operate well. Now six minutes and 43 seconds into the flight. Discovery at an altitude of 66 miles, flying at 10,700 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, single engine press 104. Copy, single engine press 104. Seven minutes and 15 seconds into the flight, Discovery can reach its planned orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three still performing well. The flow of fuel from the external tank into the three space shuttle main engines is equal to that of draining an average swimming pool in 25 seconds. Discovery's engines are now throttling back to maintain structural limits on the orbiter as it approaches loads near three times gravity. Now seven minutes, 57 seconds into the flight. Main engine cutoff confirmed, now 8 minutes and 35 seconds into flight. External tank separation is also confirmed.
Nine minutes into the flight, Discovery and her crew now in orbit. Commander Pam Mulroy, Pilot George Zamka, Flight Engineer Stephanie Wilson, Mission Specialist Doug Wheelock. Discovery Houston, that was a nominal MECO. OMS-1 is not required. We'll meet you in the post-OMS-1 tab. There's four crew members on the uh, flight deck of Discovery down on the mid-deck, astronauts and mission specialists Scott Perzinski, Dan Tani, and Paula Espoli. 